Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your 10-bit 422 footage from the Panasonic Lumix G9 and use that in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Now the problem is that there's two versions of Resolve. You've got the Studio, which is the paid for version, and the free version, which I'm using here. Now in the free version, it won't recognize your Panasonic Lumix G9 10-bit 422 files. Um, what it will actually do is if you click on the footage and bring it in, it just recognizes it as an audio file. And obviously we can't work with a video that is just composed of audio. So what we need to do is go to hdcinematics.com and click on the enter here. It will take you to this screen and you want to click on download V6. And as I was um, sort of just testing the footage, I paid five US dollars, which is about just a few pounds. I'm testing the program, not the footage. <laughs> And yet we'll download that. Once that's done, this is what the platform looks like. So we'll right click to begin, import media. Straight off the SD card, we've got this MOV file. We'll import that, click that open. And we can obviously view the 10-bit 422 footage. We now go to convert media formats. It might take a little bit few seconds or so to load. It doesn't help that I'm using screen capture and other programs. And here we go. So the video codec, we'll change that to ProRes and 422 Proxy. Now the reason we go for 422 Proxy and not 422 HQ is because the Lumix G9 outputs 150 megabits per second footage. Um, that's if you're filming in 4K, obviously lower if you're filming 1080. And ProRes record, I think ProRes proxy is about 400 megabits per second. So it's way more than we need anyway. So it makes sense to go with the smallest option. So we've done that. We're now at ProRes 422 proxy and we're outputting it to, you basically just pick a folder. In my case, it's Joe's 422 files and we'll render that footage out. So it's taken a little while. We'll skip to the end of the process. So that's the footage completely rendered. Now if we close this program down and we jump back to Resolve, we'll go to our folder where we sort of exported the footage. So Joe's 422 files and straight away from the thumbnail we can see that we can actually see the video. We'll drag that in and now we can actually edit our 10-bit 422 footage. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. Um, if it has, please hit it with that thumbs up. Uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit different from the normal, but I thought I'd just help out the Lumix G9 users.